With 2015 gone comes 2016, which means a whole new year of movie reviews. And kicking off this year, I'm going to review the movie Koya Skatsi. Now, Koya Skatsi is not like your average movie because when I first saw this movie, I was, it was during my junior year of high school when I went to a tech center for video production. And one of the units we did was a unit on experimental filmmaking. Experimental films either ranging from movies that use a new kind of technology versus movies that are a bit more abstract. Okay, maybe abstract's not the right word to use, but definitely more artsy. Also, following Quasquazzi came two sequels forming the Quatsi trilogy. And this movie also over years has gained a rather large cult following. It's funny that I should even add that title card at all because this movie is about nothing. Now, not in the same sense of something like The Big Lombowski, because with something like The Big Lombowski, we do have this group of characters that we start to like and there is a kind of this weird logical progression between the start of that movie and the ending of it but in the middle or throughout the movie i should say there's just a bunch of subplots that just amount to nothing so in a sense that's one kind of nothing with this movie here there is no characters to speak of so yeah there'll be no characters to speak of in this review and if i had to really tell someone what Koya Skatsi is or what it's about. Koya Skatsi is basically about how humans affect the earth and that's really the best description I can give to Koya Skatsi. It's a movie about nothing. In terms of what I liked about the movie, the movie has perfect pacing. The cinematography to the movie is amazing. The soundtrack I fucking love because from time to time it either goes from something that's uh, upbeat and whimsical to something that's dark and mystical. And if you want to get a general idea of what the soundtrack sounds like, just watch the Watchmen movie and just pay attention to the scenes that involve Dr. Manhattan. Because the soundtracks you hear at those moments with Dr. Manhattan are from Koya Scott. I like how this movie applies the Gestalt principle. Gestalt being for what two of you that don't know it is when you look at something and you see one thing or you look at some that same image again and you see something different case in point you might see those images where it's like oh i see a skull or oh no i see two kids and a dog kind of like one of those but the difference here is unlike those images where it has both the skull and the two kids and the dog this here the movie begins with an image of what looks like people and they shot again at the very end and i saw something completely different also i love the editing to this film because they, there's just some shots where they shoot in a way where they just have the camera just standing still and they just record what's just going on and they speed up the footage so fast that it just produces like this really cool effect in terms of what i disliked about the movie really the only problem i have with the movie is for a good majority of the movie it does show nice clean footage but from time to time they use stock footage that looks really gritty Granted, it works in the context of the film, but when they do show footage like that, I just find it kind of distracting from time to time. But, you know what? If it works for the film, it works. So, for my final verdict of Koya Skatsi, in the end, I really enjoyed the movie, but how will other people enjoy it? Because the movie is very different from your usual Hollywood movie, where there is no characters to follow or three-act structure. And if you weren't the biggest fan of something like The Man with the Moving Camera or Zora's Dilemma, you're probably not going to enjoy this. However, if you want to watch something that's different, I recommend Koya Skatsi because, well, it is different in the good sense of the word. And so, before I give my final rating, what did everyone else have to say about Koya Skatsi? Looks like Koya Skatsi got generally good reviews. So, for my final rating of Koya Skatsi, I give it a 5 out of 5. No question here today, folks. See you later and have a happy 2016.